Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find three journals that your instructor thinks are great resources for getting some background information and analysis of the situation in Ukraine right now. And those are The Economist, Foreign Policy, and Foreign Affairs. So let me show you how you can find those um, in the library where you can get them for free. So once again, I'm starting on the college's homepage. I'm clicking on quick links to get to library and chat. And now I'm on the library's homepage. This time I'm going to start in the library's catalog. And the catalog is the listing of everything that we own. What I want to do is look for these journals, which is another word for magazine. So I'm going to click this link that says find journals. And then I'll put in the title of the journal I'm looking for. The first one we'll look for is The Economist. So I just type in the name. I can find it right here and I click on the link. And it's going to show me all of the places where we have The Economist. So we have it in print in the library, but we also have it online. Right now, I want the online version. So I'll click this link. And it's telling me where I can find it online. It's inside this database, Gale in Context Opposing Viewpoints. I'll click that link. And it will take me to um, the journal inside this database. Now you can see that it has full text coverage from all of these issues. And so there's a couple of ways I can approach this. I can click on the date of the issue. And then there's um, two articles will come up, but if I click this hyperlink, which doesn't look like a hyperlink, it'll show me every single thing that was in that issue of the magazine, right? And I can go through here and I might see some information about Ukraine. I know that your instructor knows of a specific issue of The Economist that's all about the, what's going on right now. And so you might want to use that. The other thing that you can do is I can look for Ukraine in The Economist. Right? So now I'm looking for everything about Ukraine that's been in this publication that your instructor thinks is a great resource for you to get information and analysis on this topic. And there's 1,091 articles, right? If I want to look at all of them, I click the link. And I might, in this situation, want the newest first because we want to know about what's going on right now. Right? So we've got the Minsky moment, Ukraine crisis. That looks really good. And if I click on it, I'll get to the full text. Once I'm here, I can, you know, save it to any of these services. I can download it. I can email it. I can print it. Um, I can highlight it and make notes. Um, and I can also get the citation. So it's really easy to use, right? Um, let's look at some of the other um, journals that your instructor wants you to look at. So what I've done is I clicked on my tab to bring me back to the library's catalog. And I'm in Find Journals, and the next one I can look for is Foreign Affairs. I'll click on the name of the journal. It is going to show me the record. Here's where it's available online. And it's in all of these different databases. I'm going to go ahead and look for it in Academic Search Complete. And just like in the other database, I can click here to find the most recent issue. And I can browse through it if I want. Or I can decide to do an advanced search 
in this particular journal. So JN is like for the journal, I'll get rid of the rest of this because that's for the date. And just like before, here's the and, I can just add Ukraine. And search. And just like before, I'll probably want to refine my search um, to by date, you know, unless I want to know what was going on in 1943, right? And so I can see here Eastern Europe and the foreign, former Soviet republics. Um, there's also videos, right? Um, Ukraine alleges Russian involvement that you can watch, right? So it's a really good database. Um, for an article, if I click on the title, it's going to give me the full text of the article. I can even listen to it if I don't want to read it. And just like in the other databases, I have the option to print, email, save, you know, download, and it gives me a citation right here. And there's one last source that your instructor likes. If I go back into the library's catalog again, Foreign Policy is another source that she recommended. And just like before, I click here to see where it's available online. It's also an academic search complete. And so already I'm getting some information about what some good databases will be for this project. So if I want additional information on foreign policy, foreign affairs, academic search complete seems like the database I should use. And just like the other one, I can do the same thing. I can pop it open and browse issues. Yeah. Or just like before, I can do that advanced search. Keeping the title of the journal on that line, deleting everything else. Adding Ukraine below. And, you know, doing the same kind of limits and things like that as before to make sure I'm getting, you know, up-to-date information. So I hope that helps you um, find some sources. I will have direct links to those journals inside the announcement where I share this video. And just like before, if you can't get what you want, just find your way to the library's homepage, even if that means you start on the college's homepage and go quick links and chat. And then just click the little chat button and a librarian will help you right away. Good luck.